but we are going to do push presses or strict presses and we are going to do push-ups so we are going to just kind of superset those two but let's do this um so what i want you guys to do i want you guys to go find a pot a pvc pipe a resistance band a jump rope i don't care if it's a broomstick whatever you guys have ah, oh my gosh what the heck you guys, I find the funniest contraptions in my house. I just went to pick this thing up. I couldn't even tell you guys what Zach was trying to make. He has a hanger on the end of a stick with this thing on it. Is he trying to make his own like metal detector? I feel like he's trying to make a metal detector because this thing picks up. It's a magnet. This is the funny, this is what I live with. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a human child. <laughs> this is so funny, okay. Well, I just broke his contraption, so that's it. Okay. Oh my god. You guys, that's what I picked it up. I was like, wait, what is this? I still can't figure out what hap what's happening here. He, oh my gosh, he taped together two poles. Like, I, I wish I knew how much of his life he spent doing this. That way I could laugh at it because he, he taped those together. He put this in here. You guys, <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, I need a longer one anyway. Probably your new blind rod for the window. <laughs> oh my gosh. I would not doubt it even a little bit. That's the funniest thing ever. Oh. And then I always wonder, I'm like, why it will, I'll buy new pens. I'm not even kidding you guys. I finally will buy pens because I can never find them. And all of a sudden, one time, um, I go, I just bought, and I didn't buy like the cheap pens. I bought like the $5 pack. Not the $2 pack, which I thought was a nice set. And I loved them. Well, he took every single one of them apart to see how they were put together. He took the entire pack apart and in like pieces. And I'm like, Wyatt, what were you thinking? And of course he couldn't put them back together because he's, I'm just like, dude, <laughs> that's what it's like living with Zach. But that was funny. Okay, so get some passwords. Try not to be bending your elbows. Keep those elbows locked out and go all the way through. As you guys start loosening up, come in a little bit closer. Get those arms a little bit closer. All my pants were uh, dirty, so I found these ones that I haven't worn like forever. And they do this like weird sagging thing, so disregard that. All right. He cracked me up. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, yep, I haven't washed any clothes from my trip yet, so I have a lot of laundry to do. I came home and washed all the bedding, washed everything, but I have not washed my clothes yet. Okay, keep coming closer, you guys. Keep trying to open those shoulders. Try to find that sticking point and try to slowly work past it. Do not go too fast. Don't be ripping any shoulder, uh... Anything in your shoulders, ah, but get past that sticky point. And if you guys ordered any of the new tanks, I promise, um, if you guys ordered them before like yesterday at like 7 p.m., they are packaged up and I'm gonna get them out today. Um, okay, so now we're gonna do around the world. So open up, this is gonna open up our whole entire like sides, our lats, open up the sides. So come all the way around and then come to this side, keep those arms still. Locked out and keep doing that. What is it called? Around the world. Uh, I know around the world different when I was in school. What was it when we were in school? I can't remember. Math. Oh, oh, oh that game was fun. Yep. Around the, now I can't remember how to play. <laughs> now if I tried to play, I'd be using my fingers like, oh crap. Uh. <laughs> How about my kids always ask, so we love playing games, and they will say, let's play heads up. Every time they say heads up, I always think they, they're talking about heads up, seven, seven up. up. And I'm like, how do we play heads up, seven up with like four of us? And they always mean that game with like a uh, Pictionary on their head or whatever, or not Pictionary, but like not gestures. I, I can't remember, whatever it's called, where you like try to get people. No, everybody gives clues and that person tries to guess it. That's what they're always talking about. Um, I always think heads up, seven up. Okay, now you guys are gonna do switch your grip. 
So if we're overhanding it right now, you guys are overhanding whatever you're holding, we're gonna switch it to underhand. You need to go wider again, because we're not, and now this is called the Eagle's Pass. Ah! It like literally opens up a different part of your shoulder, and so make sure you're wide again. You don't want to be back to um, skinny or uh, narrow. Cause, uh, I'm glad you guys appreciate the how much I'm losing all my words right now. But I laughed because I'm the exact same way. So it's like, <laughs> I know, it's so bad. It's so bad. I'm like, ugh. It's so bad that my that Michael just, he just knows now that when I say, you know, the the thing I'm a Bob, or if I'm like, like, I, it doesn't even have a name, but he figures it out. He He's like, yeah, it that, is, that, that is so freaking funny. Uh, okay, we can set those down. Set those down. And now we're going to come to the ground. We're going to come to the ground. We are going to do, this is like probably my favorite thing ever. So you guys are going to come down, and you guys are going to have your hands out in front of you, and you're going to press those head through those shoulders. The farther back you guys take your butt, the deeper into those shoulders you get. So make, you're going to be opening up all of this. Um, so just push that head through those shoulders. Um, push your butt back more if you need. Man, this is the best. But back to heads up, seven up, you know you cheated. Oh, for sure. You had to look who touched your thumb. Well, you had to look at the shoes. <laughs> That is the best thing. Now that you say that, that's what I remember. Yep. <laughs> and how about last night? You guys are going to think this is great. Last night, I didn't have my steps. It was 11 p.m. I finally got done. I got the kids to bed. I got all the orders packaged. And you guys, I had already taken a shower. And all I had on was a shirt. That's it. And underwear. And I came downstairs and I put my tennis shoes on just in those two things. And I walked on the treadmill for like 2,000 more steps. And Not. I'm literally walking with no pants on, no nothing, and I'm like, oh. man, this is the stupidest thing ever. It's 11 p.m., I, and I didn't even have an active day yet, but I got it. And I was like, I hope Zach doesn't come looking for me. He's like, what the heck is wrong with you? But I at least put my tennis shoes on. I didn't have socks on, though. <laughs> it was too funny, though. Um, okay, so now let's get our wrists. Anytime we do the upper body stuff, barbells dumbbells whatever you guys gotta warm up your wrist stretch them so i my go-to is always going to be this this is my favorite for wrist stretchings i come to the ground like this and i push over i go over um and i stretch it that way first but yeah we uh i got my steps i haven't used a rest day yet i get nervous to use a rest day because what happens well you never might need it right your kid might need a freaking uh hand warmer and you might have to like forget about getting your steps i feel bad i shouldn't laugh but oh my god <laughs> i just am like it just I, i'm like are we all just gonna sit in the school and look at them like i really do care about my kid i care about all my kids but kids are also gonna be kids um like I ate when I was a kid, we were at like a ball field and watching a uh, baseball game. And I ate one of those like necklaces that go around your neck. I just was chewing on it, like biting on it. Um, okay. Now roll, roll on your wrist, but I was biting on it and I, I broke it and I ate the stuff inside. I like was getting it in my mouth or whatever. And my parents called poison control and it was fine. I actually survived it, but kids are literally like, do that stupid stuff. But to pay for it, dark, what? And when Kaysen was little, he got, this is kind of gross, but I uh, had like the, they were pink. They were like the laxative things because I was going, I don't know why I needed it, but it was in my purse and he thought they were like candy and he ate a whole pack. Were they, and, oh my, did he like crap for days? Oh my God. It was bad. We called poison control and they're like, well, you're just going to have to watch him because the biggest thing with that is dehydration and i'm just oh. like oh my god and he was he was in so much pain they I just get into pain eat things and it's i don't care like yeah my it's daughter ate nail polish did she survive <laughs> did she survive 
Oh yeah. After watching that show where people eat like like their baby dolls and stuff for for like they have like those I forget oh, what Crater it's Willy or whatever. Yeah, I realized that kids can pretty much eat anything. Like here, if you accidentally eat my sock, like you're probably gonna live. Be like after watching that show, I've realized it. Um, yeah. But because I kid, I don't know. Yeah, they do stupid things. They do stupid things. <laughs> they kids. kids. Exactly. I'm like, man, there's like only so much like we can all sit and do and like you can't control everything. We try. I forgot to tell him not to eat a freaking hand warmer before school today. I'm sorry, but I'll tell him tomorrow not to eat a hand warmer. But, but okay, this is what we're doing, you guys. So let's do this. Well, Tara, we can all attest that you guys are great parents because I think we see your life quite a bit. Oh, I called the sheriff's department today. And I call, I was like, I need to, because I've been trying to get the reports from everything. So we're trying to get everything documented and together for our, like our case. And um, the, the case is closed with the sheriff's department, which is good. But he, I have to go down there today and like pick up the actual, it's so funny. I talked to one of the supervisors there and they told me to email in and they're going to email me with a report within a week. Well, they never did. This was last week. And he's like, no, we don't even do that. He's like, you have to come in for it. I'm like, he's like, do you know who you talk to? I'm like. Of course I don't. I said, this is the email I emailed though. And I had all that. I was like, wait, you guys, like, what have I been waiting for? I was so oh, weird. I don't know. So I'm going to go down there today and see what, see what's going on. Okay. So what we're doing today, we're doing those push presses. So a couple things. I want you guys to start with light weight at first. Remember, we're going to build up. You don't just grab your twenties and thirties and forties and, and go at it. Uh, we always are going to warm up with light weights. It's literally like nutrition, we never forget about the basics. So we're gonna pick those up. What we're gonna do, the push press, your feet are in that athletic stance under those hips, under those hips, like you're gonna jump. And so what we're doing, it's almost exactly like the jump. So how you come down, your knees go out, you're not sitting back. You're gonna notice I'm not sitting back. A lot of people do like a thruster for this, they think you're gonna sit like a wider stance, I think you're gonna sit back and do it. You're not, your body just goes down, like your back just goes down, your knees actually go out. So you're gonna dip, drive. You're gonna squeeze your butt, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, you're gonna squeeze your core, you're gonna squeeze everything, and you're gonna use that momentum to get it up. Do not, this is what we see all the time for the push press, is this, and then you don't even really use your hips. You don't use your butt. You don't use your legs. You don't, people just don't use any of it because they forget, they, they don't really think about it. They're thinking more arms. They forget that they can use their, uh, their bottom half of their body. But for the strict press, that's when we lose the bottom half. But for the push press, you want to use that. That's going to help you a lot. Um, so what we're going to do, knees go out, butt goes down, and then you're going to press one dip. You're always going to stay on those heels. I'm not going to my toes. I'm not doing any of that. I'm still staying on my heels. I go away on my toes. But that's what we're doing today. So when we press, you want to get that head through. Make sure you're not doing this. You want to finish with that head through, shoulders back. Um, and then, oh, if say you were using a barbell, those elbows in a front rack position is up here. Those elbows would actually come back and they would be behind the bar. Or no, no, not behind the bar. Slightly in front of the bar. And you're gonna dip and drive, but we're not using barbells right now. But say you were, this is where they'd be. They, they wouldn't be up here like the front rack. You'd bring them back and you would dip, drive. Dip, drive. So let's say you do it with a with a hockey stick. But with the dumbbells, what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick them up. Those elbows are not up here. They're pulled back, dip, drive, dip, drive. And remember, if you guys have to rest on this one, if you guys need to take a break, you want to use the break and the rest up here. You don't wanna do it down here because you lose that, that momentum. So I always rest up here and then I go back into it. If I have to rest, if I get like tired, um, that's what I always do. So we are doing that and we're going to do push-ups. So, so let's do this, you guys. 
um, grab dumbbells. If you guys have heavy ones, let's grab some heavy ones, like 70%, like 70%, so something heavier. But if you don't, that's fine. But warm up, do a couple sets. I'm gonna do a set at, hold on, we got 12s. I got some 20s. This is one of those that we can grab all the sets. So get some, you guys. But remember, we're gonna, anytime we're going from weight and then to body weight, so we're gonna do use weight and then we're gonna go to body weight. It, it seems like, oh, the body weight's gonna be so easy. Those push ups are gonna be so hard, you guys. So just try to get like five to seven every single round. If you guys can get 10, get 10. But if you guys can get five, try to go for five push ups. Um, but let's just warm up, let's get some warm up sets. If you guys need any help, I can help you guys with that form. We're gonna dip, drive, dip, drive. So use that bottom half and do not forget, it's one dip, it's not two dips. That's called a jerk, that's called a push jerk. Um, we're doing push presses, not push jerks. And then if you don't use your legs, that's called a strict press. So everything from up here is pressing. Um, or pushing, we got push, press, strict, press, and uh, whatever one I haven't said. I don't remember. Okay. So does anybody have any questions? Let's see some of the form. What's going on over here? Okay, Nikki, you have your house painted like, uh, what pink is that from? That's from freaking Planet Fitness. This was my kid's playroom. Oh, okay. Because that looked like it was from Planet Fitness. So I was like, wait. We just, I like, they never came down here to play anymore. And so I'm like, all right, I'm moving my workout room down. That's freaking hard, awesome. That is. a hard floor down here. My husband's like, do you want to paint? I'm like, I just, I don't want to. I don't feel like painting. No. Like this wall is like glittery. <laughs> that is so funny. I, well, it's really it's working. Here. Okay, Dana, don't squat as much. You're squatting. You're doing, hold on. Dana, what you're doing, I'm going to spotlight you just so I can see you a little bit better and I can show you what you're doing. So you're using a lot of legs for this. So what you're, let me do this with the 20s. You're going like this, which is more of like a thruster. Um, we're doing, so your butt, your back and butt, it's almost like you're on a wall. Think about being on a wall and you're just sliding down. See how you can't put your, push your butt back? Literally, I'm on a wall and my knees have to go out for me to go down. So if I were you guys, I would go on a wall real quick and get this feeling. Because that's the feeling you're going to be on. Yeah, go against the wall though. Try to do it against the wall with no weights. You guys, that's exactly the feeling I want. Is knees go out, butt cannot go back. Down, press. Down, press. Um, yeah, notice how you guys have nowhere for those butts to go. That's exactly what this is going to be. It's the weirdest thing ever. Yep. And do it from the side. Let me see the side view. And the feet around the hips. Yeah. Yep, your butt's still going back. So you want to think, so it's, so you're still going like this. Think about this. Keep that. Does that make sense when I'm going down? Yes, more like that, more like that. Yes. Yes, more like that. I like you're weird. <laughs> what? You said that feels weird. It does feel, like feel weird. Too much. You're gonna love it though, because you don't have to use, you. Uh, it's way better because you don't have to use your quads as much. Like you're just using your hips to get it up and you're using more of your butt. Doing the squat, it actually makes our quads so much more. So I feel like you're gonna love it once you get like, once the feeling is more normal. <laughs> okay. okay, I will unpin you and let's do this you guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. We're gonna do, depending on how heavy you guys go. Ah! Almost just fell backward off my weight. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like seven to nine of these. I, that's what I'm gonna do because I have 20s. If you guys have 35s, like if I had 35s, I would probably do four or five of them, and then I would do push-ups. 
I don't have anything heavier than 20s in here. So I'm not gonna go too extremely heavy. Um, but I want you guys to get, I don't know, like if you guys have lightweights, I don't want you guys to do a hundred of them. I want you guys to get an amount that makes it feel like you guys are working and using your muscles and having to depend on your form and stuff. And you're not just able to press it up super easy. So whether that means four or five or seven or nine, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to go into push-ups. We're going to do anywhere from like five to 10 push-ups. If you guys have five and they look good, stop there. Um, that way you guys don't lose that integrity. But if you guys can do 10 and they look just as good, go to 10. But, and then we're going to rest and then we're going to go back to it. Good. Kristen's like, nope. Okay, let's do this. Um, it's going to be just like the back squat workout type thing as far as the rest and stuff goes. So let's go ahead and do it. And let's work these arms. Oh, man. Dumbbells. Okay, so remember, we're going to kind of clean them up to get them up. You guys. Okay, go. Whenever you guys are ready, go. Gosh, this is gonna burn real bad real bad um I tried to do the uh handstands yesterday she's like mom it's so easy 40 seconds whatever she did literally two seconds she's like that's too hard are you serious <laughs> yeah she tried Wait, who did you say your daughter yeah my daughter oh my gosh that's so cool it's hard and i said we did four sets and she's like what <laughs> she said she's impressed by her mom now oh, yeah. it's fun when you could uh beat your kids at all that stuff show them how okay you guys we're gonna rest for about 45 more seconds and then we're gonna go back into it i always find like that the first set is almost kind of like a warm-up um but we're gonna count it <laughs> but i could tell that this is gonna get hard pretty fast so let's do this oh man megawatt needs to start kicking in what oh megawatt i know this morning it's it was such a long morning i was like man so much i don't know you guys know how it is colton decided though he wants to start setting his alarm so he set his own alarm for 6 15 and he just was he's just so happy i'm like wow i didn't realize this would be such a fun moment in our life but so glad you're setting your alarm and you guys can all wake up they were ready for school okay let's go we were ready for the bus like 30 minutes early, which never happens. But I can definitely get down with this. Come on, you guys. Woo! And go straight into those push ups. Got it. Come on, Kristen. I hear you. I know you guys. Okay. We're going to rest for like 60 more seconds and then we're going to go back into it. And don't forget, as you guys get tired, it's really, really, really easy to kind of relax the arms and not, um, and not completely lock out. It's really easy to do that dip and press and dip like, and lose the full range of motion. So make sure you guys are still pressing and getting that head through. Press head through. <sighs> Let's do this. You guys, our bathtub downstairs is in. It doesn't, we can't use it, but it's at least in. I'm so excited. Yay. I know. Hey. I know, I'm so excited. Did you bring the bath bombs home with you? 
Oh my gosh, no, I actually forgot those. <laughs> I should have, those are so funny. I legit, when she handed them to me, I thought they were dog biscuits. That's like, I was like why are you having dog biscuits? I, yeah, that was stupid, but. Okay, you guys, we are going, Ugh, let me see my timer. Go, now, remember, seven to nine, push through. Okay, dip, drive. this you guys got this oh my gosh you got it you got it five minutes five that's okay that's okay uh and if you guys wonder why i maybe go to like 11 i actually suck at counting so on the push presses i always have good intentions you need help getting through your workout what you need help getting through your workout here's my new granddaughter oh my goodness She's six weeks old. Look how freaking cute. What's her name? Her name is Ava Marie. Oh my gosh. How freaking precious. Yeah. Oh. Oh. My son is in the 188th National Guard Band for North Dakota. He plays the trumpet. They live in Aberdeen, South Dakota. He's still in the North Dakota unit. They have a band night parade, so their unit's going to march. So they came up last night to spend some time with us so oh my gosh that's the best <laughs> that's the best thing ever babies yeah. are i love that stage when especially when it's not yours and you can look at it on camera and <laughs> you don't have to right. listen go you guys <laughs> you know because they're, they're hungry you just roll over and go to sleep and let mom yes. <laughs> go that is so funny i love babies but sleep man oh that nighttime stuff was so rough for me No, but I love it. This is good. This is good. Oh, man. Sarah. What? How long did it take you after having your last baby to get to your current uh, body composition that you have? Um, It took me a little while. It took me quite a while, actually. Uh, I, I didn't work out for probably four or five months. I had a C-section, and they did those staples. They did, like dissolvable staples and they didn't dissolve for about four months or five months so I couldn't do anything um so I started going to the gym just doing light stuff but the staples I could still feel them poking out so I stopped well I didn't start doing anything till Murph I decided I'd go to the gym like three weeks before Murph and then I did Murph in May um so that was probably seven or eight months after I had him and I actually ended up in the hospital with rhabdo I pushed it because I physically okay let's go so I got admitted to the hospital um, for a while just because I I had I was capable of the strength. I just shouldn't have been pushing myself that hard. Um, so I ended up in the hospital for a while, and then I just literally slow rolled it because. So it was probably a good I don't know. It was over a year. And then hold on. Okay. Uh, I'm losing the push-ups. But, but then when we nurse, 
The craziest thing is when we nurse, it's like the most selfless thing you'll ever do, ever, I swear, because your body needs that extra body fat. Um, so even if I was working out, I wasn't lean. It's like I was holding on to extra body fat. My body needed it. So um, it's hard to not beat yourself up over that. It's like, man, I really want to have this look. I also want to nurse my kid. I also like, so I had to get my priorities straight. So I just nursed. Um, it was, it, I don't remember. It was probably a year and something. It definitely. Because well, you said you're, you're five, six roughly. And you're an extra small. I'm like, okay, so I'm technically you, just an overstuffed sausage casing. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm that trying to is, get it to go that way. <laughs> that is too funny. Yeah, the muscle. The best thing you can do is hit your protein like every Never freaking day. Protein. You got that protein is so, that was the one thing. Okay, 10 seconds, we're going to go again. That was the one thing that I did right was nutrition. Um, I actually had to eat way more calories then. I didn't just hit my protein. I ate way more calories. Okay, go. Just because your body needed it, but yeah, so let's go. Two. You got it, girl. Come on, Kristen. You got it. So, yeah. It definitely takes time. The calorie deficit was probably my hardest part. I had to get really creative with food when I was in my, after I was done nursing and stuff. And just, it was hard for me to only eat 14 or 1500 calories. I don't know. I just like food. So, that part was kind of hard. I had to get, and you guys see the stuff we eat now. So, I had to get real creative with like our Mexican nights. Like I, I always did egg white tortilla and I didn't, they didn't have egg white crepes back then. I made it myself. Um, but yeah, so I just, it was just the food. Yeah. The calorie deficit was hard. I've got to say to fight cravings. I would sometimes have coffee in the afternoon, like at two or three, I always had some coffee because I, I would be hungry at that time. And I was like, man, I'm going to go way over my calories. <laughs> but once I got to my maintained state, it was way better. Just because I got more food. You said we can adjust the calories for the protein thing. And I sent you a message for my last assessment because yeah. I, I go over my calories every time because I get all my protein. And I was just wondering if they can adjust so I can actually make the make the bubbles. So you want, we <laughs> won't want to adjust. You'll want to pre-plan the night before. So pre-log your food the night before. And that's going to make it so you can hit your protein, stay within your calories. Because when we go over our calories and we don't burn those excess carbs and fat, that gets stored as body fat. No, no, I go so far over my protein, it throws my calories off. Oh, I'll have to look at your stuff. I'll look at your stuff. Um, yeah, I will look at it. Do you stay within your calories? Um, I come pretty close. Oh, gosh, we got to go, you guys. I, you got, okay, I'll look at it. Okay. And then micronutrients are really freaking important because we couldn't afford a lot of the supplements back then. Greens were actually the first thing we took, and I didn't get protein from supplements um until probably just a few years ago i started that but after my first two it was all nutrition um honestly the reason i didn't take supplements back then is my husband used well zach you guys all know zach he used a protein powder that literally was disgusting i couldn't stand eating it i couldn't stand drinking it i couldn't stand any of it so i never i always ate my pit my protein with food and we were big on fruits and vegetables and um, complex carbs. <laughs> One more set, you guys. But we did a lot of sweet potatoes. We did a lot of spinach. We did a lot of broccoli. We did a lot of asparagus. We did a lot of uh, a lot of just whole foods and um, cause yeah, the stuff he took was disgusting. Well, I go over because he says the last thing you're supposed to do before you go to bed is have more uh, protein. And that's the one that kicks me over every time. 
Oh, then don't. I have a yogurt protein right before I go to bed. That way I make sure. No, it's just okay. You don't have to. It's just totally fine to oh. do that. Oh. Yeah, you don't have to. Okay, we have one more set. We're only doing one more set, you guys. Um, yeah, you don't have to. It's just if you haven't hit it, it's totally fine. But if you're full, oh. be done eating. It's totally fine to be done eating. Oh, I thought it was going to help my muscles continue. As long as you're getting that protein in every three to four hours from the time you wake up till dinner, you'll be totally fine. Oh, okay. If you don't have room before bed, you would be totally fine not to have it. Um, oh. Yep. I don't always, I mean, if I don't hit my protein, I definitely have it because sometimes I'll go to bed and I'm like, oh, I'm not that hungry. Oh, I lay in bed for an hour and then I'm starving. I know, my body knows if I don't hit my stuff because I just, I will literally wake up and get food because I'm so hungry. I'm like, man, I always beat myself up if I do that because <laughs> I have to get back out of bed, I have to eat, and then I have to rebrush my teeth and I'm like, man, I should have just fit it in there. But, okay, let's do this last set, you guys. But we never want you guys eating if you're not hungry. Um, you don't want to just keep eating and keep eating and keep eating. Okay. Woo! Well, I wrote in my message what time I eat all my stuff, so maybe I can help you figure out. Yeah, yeah, I will. Wait, when did you message me? Uh, I think it was Monday. It was Monday. <laughs> yeah, go look. Did we get back to it? No. I sent my assessment in and everything on Mondays. You haven't gotten back yet? We 